Benjamin on lane five. He's got Kamaru Bowak of Arkansas to his outside, who's usually a pretty fast starter. That should help him. Well, and it certainly did. Both athletes are out very quickly. I just love the way that Ryan Benjamin attacks these hurdles. Just glides down the back. Let's see, that was a that was a right leg. They have been all the way. It's 13 all the way so far. Benjamin now taking control at hurdle number six. He just walks by Kamar Mowat. Mowat will be back. He is strong. And Selman is right there as well. He's not going to give up. Benjamin comes off the turn first. He's got a nice lead. One more hurdle to navigate, and he's really putting on some good speed here at the end. He's clear, running hard for the take, going for a good time. Whoa, ho! <laughs> 4702! I believe that's the second fastest time ever run. Edward Moses was at 47.03 when Kevin Young set the now standing world record. Ry Benjamin has just run the second fastest time in the history of the 400 meter hurdles on a rainy track. Well, you saw what his teammate Michael Norman did in the open 400, and here we see Ry Benjamin, he's just cruising 13s all the way around. He makes it look so easy. He and both Sidney McLaughlin just make this race look so easy. Right leg again, easy 13. And then he just streams past Moat of Arkansas. But here you expect athletes to get a little bit tired in this race, and Ry Benjamin just doesn't. Just so secure with his steps in between, such a technical event, and he makes it look easy. The hurdling is great technically, and the conditioning is there. Wow, I was not looking for that at all. 47.02, the second fastest ever, a collegiate record, meet record, track record, all that stuff. Kenny Selman in second place, 48.12, also not a bad little run. And David Kinzira getting third at 48.42.